In a concerning development for higher education in Nigeria, universities are grappling with a severe shortage of lecturers as thousands seek opportunities abroad, compounded by surge in retirements. Various chapters of the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, in separate interviews with newsmen, attributed the shortage to a substantial exit of lecturers from Nigeria and concerns surrounding the integrated personnel and payroll information system. In his remark, the chairman of ASU at the University of Benin, Dr. Ray Chikogu, attributes the long-existing staff shortage issue in Uniban and other universities to the federal government's employment embargo. Dr. Chigogu expressed concern about government interference in university affairs, leading to a cumbersome recruitment process and the unfavorable conditions pushing academic staff to seek opportunities abroad. According to him, this critical shortage underscores the need for urgent attention to address the impact on education in Nigeria. To take a look at, okay, we will be joined a little later uh, for a discussion on that subject in the course of the bulletin. But staying with education, Private polytechnic own owners in Nigeria say they're about to pack up and forced out of the sector because of governmental policies which are putting a huddle to the advancement of technical education in Nigeria. They say despite the contributions of technical education to Nigeria's industrial, economic and social development, the disparity between higher national diploma and Bachelor of Science certificate commonly abbreviated as H&D and BSc the central admission processing system and the required carrying capacity of institutions in Nigeria continue to stand in their way. New Central's Marvelous Obomanu has more in this report. It is an established fact that education is the lifeblood of every society and the engine room for development. Polytechnics, which offer technical education, has been instrumental in the development of Nigeria's skill sets, engineers, architects, planners, teachers, business managers, scientists, and other professionals of high, middle, and lower cadres. But during a visit to the Minister of Education, Association of Private Polytechnics in Nigeria say they are being frustrated out of business because of government policies. The dichotomy of BSE and the HND is quite, is quite alarming. We have the passion, we have the love to, for Nigeria to be developed. So we don't want anything to hinder us. And a few things hindering us like the CAP system of admission in JAMP. The disparity and dichotomy between HND and BSc holders in Nigeria is still very much alive. Why many are saying that this unhealthy rivalry is stemming from the type of system we have in Nigeria, where employers of labor, both at the public and private sector, tends to have a penchant for those with BSc. Those with HND say, they have the hands-on experience in terms of the job. Many Nigerians are calling on government to enact policies that bring both certificates to be at par with each other to be able to drive national development. My dad did um, the HND before he eventually went to get his MSc, and now he works for the civil service. But like he's having the issue with the, you know, he's having some issues with the general issues that everyone with HND has, you know, the amount of pay that gets promotion and XYZ. So I think that's not fair enough. And if we look back to like just a couple months ago, um, Professor Pantami, you got the book Skills Rather Than Degrees. And I think that's one thing the HND actually provides very more. They provide you with very hands-on skills that you can actually practicalize what you've learned in the classes. Whereas everybody knows if you get to the BSc in Nigeria, the amount of hands-on you know, experience you have is not, as, is not good enough compared to the HND orders. Beyond these challenges, many Nigerians are moving in droves to study abroad either through government scholarship or private funding, and this has drawn attention to the quality and capacity of Nigeria's Citadel of Learning. How equipped are these private schools, and what is the driving motivation of their owners? Is it for profit-making or to produce minds that answer to societal needs? How about the over-admission of students by institutions of learning beyond their current capacity? These and many other questions are begging for immediate answers. Then over admission of students into some federal institutions, to state institutions, you can't believe it. Some federal in institutions have over 6,000% current capacity, over. 
we are heavily now inclined to support the institutions that are technical in nature. Because our belief and the data out there is that for the level of our development, we, we need more middle-level cadre. Many Nigerians will be hoping that this age-long dichotomy between HND and BSc will be addressed to enable undergraduates make informed choices of which school to attend and hone their skills. Marvelous Obomman, reporting for News Central. Thank you, Marvelous, for that report.